idiot! Say cheese. A woman in southern China was reportedly so afraid her purse might be stolen, so she joined her handbag into an x-ray machine. The bizarre incident occurred on Sunday at Dongguan East Railway Station. After she put her luggage into the x-ray scanner, she became hesitant and refused to let her handbag go. The overly paranoid woman then decided to climb into the machine with her handbag. <sighs> and this is what the x-ray scans looked like. In response to the incident, the train station officials sent out a warning, saying no matter how clever you think you are, do not climb into the x-ray machines as they are highly radioactive. Enjoy! Chinese tourists busted for stealing a toilet seat. A red-faced Chinese couple apologized this week for stealing an electronic toilet seat from a hotel in Japan. The travelers, identified as Mr. Lee and Miss Chen, found the multifunction toilet seat underneath their bed at a hotel in Nagoya on Monday. In an attempt to keep a lid on the bad press, the sticky-fingered tourists claimed to think the seat was left behind by previous guests. Maybe no one ever told them that just because something isn't nailed down doesn't mean you can just help yourself. Demand for electronic toilet seats is off the chain in China, and the gadgets have become one of the most popular purchases for Chinese visitors to Japan. The seats can be heated, have a disinfect button, and provide an ass hose and more powerful than a Japanese shogun. So it's not hard to see why Mr. Lee and Miss Chen thought they had hit the jackpotty. The couple from eastern China apologized and sent the toilet seat back when the hotel discovered it was missing and kicked up a stink. But we think the only thing this pair of thieves were sorry about is getting flushed out. In fact, we go as far as to say that we think they're full of sh**. Chinese tourists pig out at Thailand Buffet. A group of Chinese tourists were caught on camera, well, behaving badly. The tourists were filmed amid a feeding frenzy at a hotel buffet in Thailand. Seafood seems to be their food of choice as one by one they frantically climb over one another to fill multiple plates at a time. Most were employing the double place technique, using one plate to scoop food onto another, while others, well, just use their hands. The tourists were seen taking three or four plates at a time. Tables were filled with seafood. Afterwards, photos were taken of the leftover uneaten food, prompting netizens to criticize the behavior of the greedy tourists. Most people were upset calling the behavior disgusting, while others simply said, that is Chinese. Grounded due to plastic surgery. Three Chinese women reportedly weren't allowed to board their flight and got stuck in an airport in South Korea after getting massive plastic surgery done. The three Mulans looked like they just got out of a boxing match with swollen faces and lips and their heads wrapped in bandages. They were stopped by South Korean immigration officials. No, not for bad judgment, but for looking nothing like their passport photos. The picture of the three beasts was widely shared over knockoff Chinese social media platforms. It's become a thing over the past decade for insecure Chinese women to travel to South Korea to go under the knife so they can get transformed into ugly women who clearly look like they've gotten way too much work done. Chinese women in search of a new face visit South Korea using medical tourist visas. Almost 100,000 Chinese visited South Korea in 2016 to get things pumped up, sliced off, and reshaped. No word on what happened to the three women, but they're still in South Korea. Maybe they should think about some plastic surgery. Oh, wait. Fabulous. Just what the Antarctic needs, Chinese tourists flying to the South Pole for a vacay. China claims it has flown its first commercial flight to Antarctica, carrying 22 tourists. The trip consisted of a 14-hour flight from Hong Kong to South Africa, refueling in Cape Town, and then another 5.5 hours to Antarctica. After reaching Antarctica, it was another 5 to 6 hours to the South Pole, where the plane landed on a 1.5-mile-long runway carved into the ice. The number of Chinese tourists in Antarctica has reportedly grown from 100 in 2008 to 3,944 in 2016. We feel sorry for the penguins.